Hi, uh, my name is Bruce. Uh, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to paint a, a bit of a different subject. We're going to paint a parachute, a military parachute. Um, I'm just uh, painting the background. I have a little bit of uh, cerulean blue and white and I have a little bit of medium here and I'm using the medium to allow my paint to move a little bit freely across the canvas. Now I've sketched out the, a parachute, left a little area down there for the parachutist. And I've mixed some colors. The colors that we're using today are going to be cerulean blue, yellow cad light, yellow orca white. The mixtures that I've done are basically, I've taken the cerulean blue, yellow orca and mixed it to make like a, uh, a military olive drab color, which is the color of a parachute in the military. And to lighten that up, sort of like a, a semi-color to that, which is not quite a highlight, but to be used on a parachute, I've used that mixture of um, blue and orca and I add it to that a bit of yellow. And I'm just going to lighten this up with a bunch of clouds. All I'm doing is taking a white and making little circles. Then at the very bottom, I'm blending it into the into the canvas. And there, the bottom of the picture, I'm making it quite blue or quite white. And I'm just blending it all in. That's enough for the sky. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work on the parachute. The parachute, like I say, is a combination of a blue and an orca. And we're going to use a, a medium, like so. And we're going to put on one side of my brush a dark, then on the other side, the light. And we're going to play with that until we can have a dark light type of painting on one brush stroke. There, that's what we're looking for right there. So let's try that. That looks like I use a little bit of dark and a lot more light. So let's try it. It's sort of a practice uh, type of error type thing to learn this when you're doing it. Let's see how this works. Not too bad, not enough dark. So I'm going to put the dark in before I move on. Then I'm going to go back, try it again. This time it worked. So I'm going to blend in that one that had too much dark.
So that's basically the parachute. What I'm going to do is change brushes. I'm going to get a flat brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, add it to the second mixture. What I've done is opened up the bottom of that chute. So we're going to take a liner brush and we're going to use some medium. I'm going to go back into this dark, dark color and I'm just going to put a couple seams to identify where the seams are on the parachute. Not too dark. Now we're going to take a yellow and add it to this last color so it's a little bit brighter and a little bit of yellow ochre also. Not much. And we're going to give it a little bit of a highlight. Not much. And at the bottom part where the parachute meets the bottom, we're just going to put a little bit of darkness, not much. And with the same brush, just clean it off a bit. You touch the yellow. And in the center bottom, just add a little bit more yellowness to it. Now the only thing you need on the parachute, all parachutes, well the military parachute, the T-10, this is what we're doing now, it's called. That's the name of the parachute. It has like a little skirt, like a little white nylon fishnet type thing that's uh, found on the bottom of the parachute. So we're just going to paint that in. I'm 
My color's got a little bit of green picked up, and that's quite all right. No problem with that. Because uh, it'll blend in with the parachute itself. That's about all you need. You just have to know, or just have to make the resemblance of that little skirt. Down here, we have a little parachutist. I'm going to use the dark color again of the uh, parachute. But before I do that, I'm going to stop for a minute. Uh, you need lines from the little man or little parachutist to the parachute. If I paint this now, it'll be very easy to smudge it when I put the lines in. Now normally what I'd do is let it dry and then I would take a, uh, a liner brush, one, one much like this one here which has only got about three hairs on it and I would use a ruler or something that I can use a straight edge and I would paint uh, my lines. But in this case what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a palette knife and I'm going to carve in the lines because I don't want to really have to wait three or four hours to do that. So what I'm doing, I'm using this palette knife and I'm going to my little parachutist. Now the parachutist that I put in there has two little lines above it. That would be the harness straps that attach to the parachutist where the lines attach to the parachute. So I'm going to find that little and the little uh, area that protrudes out and I'm going to go from that point always to the parachute and when you're painting it it's the same way you have to have one point where the man is, or the parachutist is gripping and controls all the lines to the parachute now realistically if a parachute is any distance in the sky is basically going to look similar to what I'm doing right now. You can't see these lines too well. They're almost invisible at a distance. Now I'm not sure if the video is picking up these lines but I know uh, I can see them here. So when you're painting, you'll be able to see them. So there's your lines. I'm paint the little man now. And all I'm going to do is dab because the uh, painting is quite small. This is just an 8x8 eight eight painting. Now what I'm doing now, remember I mentioned those lines like a harness that's attached to the parachutist that holds up the uh, lines going to the parachute? That's the ones I'm doing now. So make sure that it meets wherever you put your lines. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and just put some elbows in there. The individual is grabbing or gripping the parachute and I'm going to make it like his head is looking downwards. I'm not going to put too much color into the, uh, the parachutist. He's at a distance but I will put a little yellow orca to break up the black. And 
So there's your parachutist and there's your parachute. So it's almost a one stroke uh, type of painting where if you can put your uh, dark on one side uh, your, and your light on the other side of your paintbrush and give it a stroke. With practice you can definitely get that. Now also I'm going to on the bottom just to give you the uh, impression that there's ground here. I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow orca. Put a little bit of that there. And I'm going to take some of that parachute color again. Add a little bit to that. And I'm going to take some yellow. So that guys, a color makes your picture. Well, there you go. There's your little painting. It's a uh, it's a painting that's uh, a lot of fun to paint. It's it's quite different uh, from what uh, most people are painting. And like I say, the, the object that I want you as a beginner to learn is to do this one stroke uh, with your paintbrush, like dark on one side, light on the other. That, uh, if you can master that, you can do flowers, you can do quite a lot of things uh, with that. But with the oil painting, I, I must mention, it's a little harder. If you have arts and crafts uh, paint or acrylic and you're using a smooth surface, you'll find it really uh, works well. When you hit canvas, you have to uh, help yourself by putting some sort of a medium or uh, liquid white or something like that to, to make your paint move smoothly. That's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, until next time, happy painting.